Greetings, my fellow knights. Welcome back to the Struggle Bus, where we're trying out some more Roaming Throne, which is an artifact creature that you can select a creature type, and when that creature type triggers any kind of ability, ETBs, taps, all that good stuff, kickers, you get to double that, which can be extremely powerful. So we're trying to abuse that with a bunch of Phyrexians that have trigger abilities. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive on into this sweet Orsov list. Uh, we'll start at the bottom. Uh, removal is going to be destroy evil for those pesky virtues as well as big creatures. Go for the throat and edict as well as virtue of persistence, all cards that you guys are familiar with. We're running a full playset of Elos because I expect her to die early and we use her as additional life gain by blocking aggressively thanks to having death touch. But also her triggers ability tr triggers twice. So now she's draining for two instead of one, which can uh, add up very quickly and keep us alive. Three Phyrexian missionaries to stem the bleeding on those aggro decks, but then later in the game for a low, low, low cost of four mana, you get to not only add a 2-3 lifelink to the board, but also get back not one, but two creatures from your graveyard, creating a sweet loop with them where you can get another missionary back as well as whatever creature that you like. Phyrexian Ragers to be able to cantrip and or lose two and draw two. Phyrexian Sensor has no major ETB effect, but it will slow down the opponent significantly and give us the edge we need sometimes to close out the game. We're running Shieldered because, hey, what's better than draining for two? Draining for four. Yes, my friends. Absolutely backbreaking. Running Phyrexian Vindicator, a little bit of a... Uh, stretch with this mana base but I do think it's doable and the fact that we're able to double up that damage trigger is absolutely phenomenal and a quick way to end the opponent's life and then finally to shielders the five drop because hey then we get two edict effects on one so why not that is the list my friends I hope you enjoy it shout out for this video it goes out to Trey Maxwell Trey thank you so much my friend for supporting me and the channel really do appreciate you doing so you rock and this doubling phyrexian list is for you my friend okay all right i like this three lands we have stuff to do uh i like this let's keep this we have all the win cons we need uh we will get rid of Sentry is probably the weakest card we have against Mono Black, right? Because they'll just go ahead and make us discard it. Or not discard it, immediately kill it. And they get to reset whatever trigger it is. So, uh, they're leaving up removal. And we don't have a 3 drop here. So, I'm just going to play our Fortress now. And then that way we can essentially throw off their mana a little bit. Okay, they're leaving stuff open as well. Uh, we have two. I'm going to go ahead and play it this time. Uh, reason being is, is that we want them to get their removal out of their hand, right? Okay, I'll take that. We want them to get their removal out of their hand. So by the time we play Throne or we play Shouldered, they no longer have the ability to kill it is our goal. Um... Yeah, Sentry was definitely not going to be long for this world. Fair. Play out the other one. Uh, wasn't a fan of missing our land drop there, but we got to do what we got to do. No go for the throw. Interesting. So, could have snuck in there a little bit. Hopefully they minus here. That's really what we're looking for. Nah, they plussed. Looking for lands. Okay. Well, no, they hit their land drops. We're the one that's looking for lands. And we did not get there, unfortunately. That is a bummer. Alright, let's play Sensor. And that's at least going to give us a leg up here. Where now we may slow down the opponent. Um, I guess the only thing they have to do is kill the Sensor. And then they're able to do whatever you want. Nice. Okay. Okay, all right. We get to at least take... The, and we hit the land. All right, nice. I am okay with this. Kill her. And then kill him. All right. 
So I think next turn, we're going to Roaming Throne. I think is the play over a Shieldred. I mean, we do have enough fodder here now. Yeah, actually, yeah. No. Hmm. There's a problem. They do have the ability to draw stuff. I think it is going to be Shieldred. I think it is going to be Shieldred. So luckily, we've slowed them down a little bit. All right. They're going to play that next turn. So I think we're going to shoulder now before they can tap this. Attack for three. And now let's see if we get lucky. We have two missionaries to get shouldered back. The thing is two roaming throne with the ward. But I think I like the fact that if they don't draw an answer here. They potentially take two. We play this and then we start going ham. All right. That's good for us. Because the only thing they get back is glit. Uh, I guess they can get back. See if they draw here. <clears throat> I wish we could do it at instant speed to negate their. So do we draw sentry? I think the correct play. Do we pull sentry? They eat our sensor. No. I think we go here. Pick Phyrexian. And then... Take them down. They get to get Glissa back is probably their best bet. They get the sensor. Okay. They get to double spell here. All right, did they draw the answer? We could have played the other sensor. We could have, I mean, played missionary to grab the sentry. I'm actually surprised they got the sentry, honestly. But that just goes to show you the power of sensor. They, they, all right. We will sack the roaming. And then get it back. Because now they still can't draw. Ah, okay. So we're Dunskis either way. Interesting. So my question here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can't do that. They're going to get this trigger first. So I think we can activate here, swing. That won't kill them. We can play here, slow them down. But they're only going to draw one card anyways. So I think we give them as few options as possible. So let's go here. And unfortunately, missing lands is a little rough. But we'll grab Shieldred, deny them the life gain. And we're going to hold our missionary? Or do we have the... I think we're going to go ahead and play Missionary. They get this guy back. They have two blockers attack. Yeah, I think we got to go for the kill here. And we're just going to play this Missionary. Because then they're going to get one of the cards back, right? They're going to get a creature back so they have a blocker. But if they don't draw a removal spell, eh, that is a little risky. But I think we're giving us our best chance here to win. Right? I mean, this is exciting for them, right? We get to see our deck play off. That's interesting. I wonder why they chose Phyrexian. Oh. Okay. Alright, so they got three creatures. Fair enough. And they get to draw here. Uh, then we play Shieldred. Hopefully we draw land. Yeah, because they needed that to discard. They go down to one. They can't draw again. So please be an untapped land. That would be great.
What is this? Trade you control. I'm confused. What is this? What are they attacking with? This dies. We get this guy back. They get it. I'm I'm really confused by that attack. I think we had it. They obviously didn't have an answer, but that was yeah. I th I'm not sure. That was weird. All right, we're on the play. We get to go two, three, four. Let's run it. This looks good to me. Let's see if it plays out, or if we see simply a black source and they kill all our stuff. White, not much better. Uh, let's play Vran. I think I'm willing. I think I'm willing to have Vran die over Elos just because Elos has Death Touch. So I think, yes, we would have gained, but I think it's correct. So the question is, do we run Elos or do we run Sensor? Right. See, we knew that was gonna happen. No surprise there. Uh, well, actually, they can't double spell yet, so let's go ahead and play our tap land, and then now we have protection from Edict for our throne. Not that it really matters. Maybe we still just run out sensor. Go for throat, Roger that. All right, uh, let's see here. They're going to have two mana for it I think I think we run out sensor I think running out sensor is correct there it's a little more vulnerable but obviously it looks like they're going to be removal dot deck interesting look at them go all right so Kill Vran, get in there. We can also play Throne. One, two, three, four, five. I think we're going to attack. Well, there are no known token creature you control dies. Let's have one If you control. All right. I think we have some time. Let's go here. Big Phyrexian. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Go for the throw, it's not gonna cut it. It dodges the virtue. So hopefully we uh draw some sweetness here. We're gonna take a hit. That touch is annoying. So we crack back for seven. Ooh. So kill Vran. And then... This guy is a bit of a problem. We really don't have an answer. So let's play our land. We're going to go ahead and kill Vran. We'll get a blood token. And then do we want to attack and drain? Or do we want to just get Vran online? I think we just get Vran online. And then swing for seven because we're not blocking the death touch. And then we're one land away from virtue. We can get Elos back. Very nice. Very nice. We're ahead on the land game. All right, I'll I'll take that. We can attack here, drain them for four, then another four. But I think that is interesting, isn't it? 
hit him for four. Then they take another four. That'd be eight. That seems decent, but I think we want to clog them on mana on spells. I'm not sure. Sorry, opponent. My bad. I, I think there was a legitimate argument there. Uh, not a fan of this one. We're going to ship it. All right, this is better. Keep this, and we'll tuck the shieldred. Because the ragers... We'll start off with sensor. It's probably the thing we mind getting killed the m least. Alright. Form of reanimator, it looks like. Seems good, seems good. Mr. Land Drop, unfortunately. Get in there. Of note, she is a Phyrexian. Play the land, pass the turn. They're under no pressure. We'll draw another card. Guess we should have waited to play our land just in case we drew another tap land. Maybe we get a little lucky with Virtue. Nice. Alrighty. What are our options here? So let's... Edict. And then... Go here... And then attack like this. That way we have a chump blocker in case they kill Elos. Definitely don't want to give them invasion. That's a negative. They have another one. Feel a little silly for... Uh, what was that? Turn to the battlefield target online permanent. In your graveyard with man value less than or equal to the number of permanent cards in your graveyard. Nice. Refill the grip. Portal is a problem. One, two, three, four, five. Missing. Fortunately, missing uh, that. All right. So we have blocks. So I guess we rager. Trying to hit our lands. Hit our land. And then hold. We'll kill Atraxa. They're going to go to portal us. Okay. 
two, three, four, five, six. Really need our untapped land, but I don't think that's going to matter. They're going to beat us to the punch line. Ooh, they actually uh, hurt themselves there. So they won't be able to board wipe or Tolvada here. Uh, take the two, then that can hit it. Block two, drain two. Still kill that is probably correct. We actually should probably just let him kill the sensor. That was my bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, bummer. Bummer. Guess we attack with the team. I'm not too worried about them having Prankster. Gaining plenty of life, discarding some more. That makes sense. All right. So they can gain some life. Down to Quattro. Depopulate. All right. There are some options here. They luckily can't cast Tolvada. So we got to pass here. So wait, do we have them by just attacking? Wait, have they shown us any instant speed removal? They have not. Uh, like, we can virtue, but I think we just got to go for the W here, right? I think what they have is another uh, deluge. Yeah. Boom. Ooh. Ooh. All right, yeah, this one actually works. We have a good setup, two, three, four. And our mana agrees with us, let's keep it. See if it'll get us there. All right, uh, sure. Gotta eat their removal somehow, right? The more removal we eat early, better the chances of roaming throne surviving would have preferred for that to be an edict but it is what it is interesting interesting golgari you say well i think i'm gonna run it this way instead of playing the throne i think that's correct i could be wrong though Okay. Yeah, it looks like I was wrong. Because they missed their land drop, so they wouldn't have been able to get around the roaming throne. Oh, well. Let's see, they had that land drop. They did not. So, let's get our sh stuff going. I mean, nothing that they played so far has surprised us minus uh, Beanstalk, right? That's a little unique. With our removal right now, really hoping that... <laughs> oh, yep, 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 yep. That is about right. That is about right. Try this again. And then we can... Missionary next turn to get the roaming thrown back. Alrighty. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, they got some blue in there too. There's that crucial land we were looking for. 
Uh, we want to protect. So let's go here while we have it. And grab here and here back. And don't think we attack. I think we want to leave missionary up so we can protect against another edict. Two, three, four, five, six. Yep. No surprise there. This just plays, right? Or returns. All right. Uh, let's go here plus here. And then now I think I feel good attacking. And then they would get you lost from us, which is a bit of a problem, but we can kill it. <clears throat> And that's probably going to do it. Nice. Very solid. Very solid. That is probably going to do it now. I don't really... One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I guess we go here. And play our other one. But I think unless we draw our destroy evil, we are out of luck, my friends. I mean, we could play our own virtue, maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six. So maybe we have some options here. Gonna need to get our card draw, though. Land that eats our stuff is a bit of a problem as well. Shouldered checks out. Sack here. And then... Alright, there's some options here. There's some options here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We really needed that seventh so we can kill their whole board. But, you know, when in Rome. Let's go here. But I think we're just going to end up losing to uh, Virtue, though. So I'll tell you what. We'll draw one more card, see what happens. And then we'll take it from there. Uh, let's see. This is the exile. Returns to the battle. Returns to the control. One has eight or more cards. And they have only two. So I guess we'll sack Shouldered. Do, 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 do. Second virtue is good game. Well done, opponent. Get rocked. Okay. Uh, this one seems reasonable to me. A loss into removal. Let's see how aggressive the opponent is. Okay. This bodes well for us because we have multiple cards that gain us life here. And we actually have a window as well. We do something like this. I like it. Okay, so they're... Uh, they're the... Um, uh, Omni Smith. Oni Forge. Oni Forge. There we go. Oni Cult Anvil. Something like that. Anvil, right? So Elos goes down. Okay gonna hold off because these lists typically I only call I'm okay these lists typically run uh, 
harvester. So I think we're going to wait here. We're not really too worried about this early drain. Um, trying to think if we should play the missionary or not. Killing that seems like a little premature. We can gain a life. But we're also okay getting it back, right? And forcing it. So no attacks here. And we're just going to hold. We're just going to hold here. I think it's more value that way to kill something a little more important. And get a card's worth out of missionary versus just getting a life. Though I guess it would allow us to block here profitably. So maybe that's the play. Okay. Refilling the hand. I respect it. Okay. Interesting. Deciding not to. Oh, I was going to say, we would definitely block there. Huh. Very interesting. I think... Do we pull the trigger on this now? Nope. Sacrifice another artifact or creature draw card. Activate only as a sorcery. Discard your hand. Transform. May cast a creature spell from your graveyard this turn. Okay, there's the Volt Surge. Okay. Now, we can't unfortunately get her back. Which is a little bit of a downside. But, like I said, I think... They already really got their value off of Epicure. So I think killing it doesn't really... Okay. So now it's a little more appealing. Interesting they were willing to just stack a treasure like that. So we'll take three, go down to 16. Let's see if they have something. And we're unfortunately flooding a little bit. Do this. So it looks like they have the kill spell for our visionary. Then we could just cycle though, right? Next turn we can go Elos plus cycle missionary to get back missionary and kind of create that loop. Keeping their hand full seems to work out well. Okay, so we're going to have six mana. So we are going to go ahead and fire off this virtue next turn. I think the goal here is going to be Illos plus virtue. Thirty-eight to forty-eight. Wow, they've drawn ten cards more than us. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna remake this town in my image. That was expected. Okay. We'll decline because we're gonna gain some life. And then they sack. The journal or the cult itself? Man, we really are flooding. Wow. All right. Well, play lost first. And then let's get rid of this guy. And then I think now we are going to go ahead and just play another visionary.
And they can kill this one. We're going to try to take the bigger one. So the only thing they can do is tick up. Yep. Oh, they didn't sack to double block. Okay. And we'll just play the other one. Now that we know we're going to play Virtue next turn. Gain the life back. Problem is they have a full grip and we don't. But Black Red's not really going to have an answer to our Virtue once we land it. If I recall. So this may be okay. We're going to go ahead and pitch one land. Oh, actually, maybe we don't because Virtue will be able to get... No, we're just going to get back our life linkers. Yeah, I think we're going to have enough life gain. We're, we're not going to pitch our hand. I think we'll be okay. They have more cards than us, but we're still at a fairly healthy life total. They got blockers. is slightly unfortunate that our hand has been um, not as active, proactive as we would like to be, but we have slowed the opponent down. So now my question is, do we attack with it? No, I think we just attack with the two missionaries. Gain some more life. Sack that, kill. They could just make a dude. I mean, they might as well do that on their turn. Unless they're... Okay. So, one, two, three. We'll decline. We'll decline. We're still okay. They're gonna blot no. So let's see. One, two, three, four, one, two. So we can play a missionary, get a missionary back. Play that. It's kind of interesting. One, two, three, four, one, two. We can just play this. One, two, three, four. Then I think. I think we kill one, attack with the team. Then they know what's up. We can't get Elos back. But we continue to pressure them. I think we just attack with Missionary. They triple block. They can make a dude. Have some... You can get one back. And then play it. And then we play... That seems correct to me. Let's attack here. Keep a loss. We gain two life. Oh, I picked the wrong one. Oops. I did. I picked the wrong one. That was my fault. I, I punted there. I don't I don't know why I was supposed to kill that one. Alright, so then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just get this going. Or kill a dude, get a dude back, I think is correct. So that, that was my fault. I'll take the hit there. I totally punted that. Oh, but Wait, oh, they left it up. Okay, smart play. Okay, so we were, it, was, it wasn't going to work out either way. Okay, fair. Uh, and then we'll go here to get back the other one. Two, three, four, five, six. And... Seven. All right, we will discard a land now. Because I punted there. And set it up to where we couldn't gain any life. 
So that's on me. I mean, I guess it wouldn't have mattered because we would have tried to kill this one. They would have sacked it. Then, we, yeah, it wouldn't. I don't think it would have played out any different. So our opponent did a great job there. But that's also just the difference in card advantage, right? Uh, 33. So we've drawn 13 more cards than us. So you deal 8. Discard. Why did that only do two? A red source you control dealt an amount of non combat damage less than. So, oh, because it's loss of life. Yeah, that'll finish this. Take four. And take another four. And we flooded. Good game. Man. Yeah, we could have played that better. Poor deck building, poor player choices. Alright, um. Man, that really stinks. It's a little slow. But I think I'm going to keep it. And just go turn 3, Elos, turn 4, Throne, turn 5, Sentry. And then exile two things, right? Let's see if we get lucky. Right. Gain a life. We're in the lead. Opponents got play a tap land of their own. All right, all right. Could mean a couple of things. Well, that's uh, that's awkward. But we got to do what we got to do. Don't want to use the sentry there. Um, it's just going to give them an opportunity. All right. I like that. And we hit the land drop. Excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and attack. We think that's going to happen. I'm not sure. Uh, we have a second. No, I'm going to leave two blockers. So they can block and then use a pump. We lose our Elos, but we have another one. We don't care about our life total. Yep. That's fine. I guess we could have used it on... Forced it to use it. Yeah, I guess it would have been better to use the mana on their turn but i like this because we could play elos and then sentry <clears throat> uh, maybe we get another creature out of it huh both sorcery speed unfortunately so i'm not gonna risk attacking here we i think we play our creatures Because if we play this, it gets countered. So actually, I am going to go here. Let them block again. Then we see what they got going on. Oh, do they have a uh, counter spell? And I'm going to feel silly. Okay, it's just safekeeping. Okay. And we'll attack. Feel pretty safe about this. Oh yeah, derp. Forgot it. I, I remember hexproof. That was my bad. Sorry. It's late. Finished the DD session, so my brain is a little fried. Aha. 
All right, opponent. I see ya. I see ya. We will take that action. One, two. They're going to feel a little silly about that here in a minute, but it is what it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's see if we get the land or not. This is looking pretty good. We did get the land. We can also get it back this way. So I think kill that, take the poison, then play missionary. Play missionary. Get our roaming thrown back. And then... And then hold on to this. We'll wait. Um, it doesn't cost us anything to wait. And then now that we got it back... Excellent. Nice. Nice. 